It was always going to be provocative, a visit to a disputed holy site in Jerusalem by a far-right minister in the new cabinet of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir went to what Jews know as Temple Mount, which is also home to the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam. The visit was criticised by the United States and condemned by the Muslim world. With the Dome of the Rock behind him, he walks into a storm of condemnation. Israel's national security minister, flanked by a heavy police presence, but disregarding delicate, long-standing arrangements designed to protect the sensitivity of a site sacred to both Muslims and Jews. The Temple Mount is open to all. Muslims and Christians come up here, but yes, also Jews, he says. His visit, just days after his appointment as a senior minister in a new far-right government, is seen by the Palestinians as both a provocation and a possible precursor to removing Muslims' exclusive right to pray at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Criticism coming first from the Palestinian Prime Minister. The Israeli minister Ben Gavir storming of the blessed al aska Mosque this morning constitutes a serious challenge to the emotions of all our Palestinian people. Tensions have been soaring here. Clashes between Israeli security forces and Palestinians made last year the deadliest since 2006, with Israel's new government today drawing criticism not just from enemies but allies, even the staunchest of them all echoing the concern of many Arab nations. Regarding this visit, uh, we're deeply concerned by any unilateral actions that have the potential to exacerbate tensions. Uh, precisely because we want to see the opposite happen. We want to see tensions reduced. Uh, we want to see uh, tensions diminish. Today's visit, deliberately it seems, potentially reigniting tension in Jerusalem, always the emotional heart of this conflict. Rachel Younger, News at 10.